Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today, I'm going to be making another impossible pie. If you've missed the first impossible pie, I will put a link down below to that video. And impossible pie is a category of pies in which you mix a amount of ingredients together and it makes its own crust. What? It makes its own crust. Impossible, right? No, it is not. And that's why they call it impossible. Also, they call them impossibly easy. I'm going to be making another version today, but this time it's going to be savory. Many of you mentioned this recipe to me in the comments of that original video. So I said, that sounds great. Let's do it. I also found the recipe in this book here. This is called the back of the box gourmet and includes all these recipes that we grew up eating and they are tried and true recipes found on the boxes of classic American ingredients, including this one for impossible cheeseburger pie. And this recipe was found on the back of Bisquick boxes. And Bisquick is a biscuit mix, but you can also use it to make pancakes and a bunch of other baked things. We need a cup and a half of onions and I forgot to chop them ahead of time. So better do that now. My cutting board is already warped. I've owned this for all of um, six months. Not impressed, not impressed. So my trick to not crying when chopping onions is to wear contact lenses. I'm serious. <laughs> but if you don't have contact lenses, I also hear that swimming goggles work really well too. The onion as we're cutting it releases sulfur gas and that gas goes into our eyes, makes contact with water, creating sulfuric acid. Whoa. Acid. That's what's making us cry. Okay, now I'm gonna add one pound of ground beef. The burger. Boop. Half teaspoon of salt. A quarter teaspoon of black pepper. I've got my ground beef and onions cooling to the side here. And now we're going to mix our Bisquick mixture, the impossible part. In my bowl, I'm gonna use three quarters of a cup of Bisquick. Doop. Now we're gonna add three whole eggs. Twist that in. So we're coming on to winter here and, and that means our chickens are not laying. They kind of take a break from laying. And I've been told that has to do with the amount of light, daylight. And some people choose to have lights inside of the coop, which keeps the hens laying. But we like to think of it as a good time for the hens to take a little break. Right now we only have one hen laying. Also, a couple of our hens are also molting, which means they're shedding their old feathers and replacing them with new ones. And so while they do that, they also do not lay. So now I'm adding a cup and a half of milk to this mixture. There is the batter. Try to get out as many of the lumps as possible. Got a 10 inch pie plate and I'm going to butter this very well. Based on what I'm looking at, I don't think this is all going to fit in this pie dish. Now we're gonna add our beef to the buttered pie plate. Oh, maybe this will all fit. All right, and now we're going to add our batter right on top. Doop. Look at that. I'm going to bake it on a baking sheet and we're gonna place this into a preheated 400 degree oven and bake it for 25 minutes. After 25 minutes, we're gonna to top it with tomato slices and cheese and bake it for additional five to eight minutes or until we put a knife in and it comes out clean. Okay, see you in about a half an hour. We'll have cheeseburger impossible pie. Alrighty, my lovelies, we are back and the impossible cheeseburger pie has come out of the oven and I've been letting it cool a bit on the countertop. Now it is time to cut into this to see if it has formed its impossible crust and to give it a taste. I think it turned out beautifully. Can't wait to get into it. Okay. I feel like I should mention this. If you don't like tomatoes, feel free to omit them because this will be your impossible 
cheeseburger pie. Dun 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 dun. There it is. I can't tell if the crust came out or not. It's difficult to tell at this point whether or not it was self-crusting. All I see at this moment is a lot of the stuffing. All right, let's cut this and see. And if we flip it over, look at that. There is a bit of a crust. Itadakimasu. It's not bad. I wouldn't say it's necessarily reminiscent of a cheeseburger. You definitely taste ground beef, you've got onion in there, and you've got a cheese layer on top. But I guess for me, a burger consists of some onion and ketchup as well. It has a little bit of a kyushi quality to it. It's got some egg that kind of binds everything together. I really like the tomatoes on top. I think that little bit of acidity goes really well with the cheesy topping and the kind of eggy middle. This actually reminds me a lot of a breakfast casserole, the one that you put like tater tots and eggs and sausage all together. It has that similar kind of texture. The flavor is a little bit different. We have ground beef instead of sausage, but that's what this reminds me of, essentially a casserole. But there is a little bit of a thickening of the batter on the bottom, which you could call a crust. But the texture of the crust is not the texture of a crust you typically think of when you have, say, a pumpkin pie or even a cheesecake where you have that kind of compressed graham layer on the bottom. This is different. This is doughier, it's wetter, and it's more biscuitier. But that makes a lot of sense because we used a batter. I will say it does make its own crust, just not the crust you may be expecting. All right, my beautiful lovelies, there you have it. That is the Impossible Cheeseburger Pie. Let me know down in the comments below if you've had this pie before or if there are other impossible pies that you would recommend. I would love to hear more about it because I love the alchemy involved where the layers reverse places. Okay, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye. Have you ever had a conversation where you're completely cross-eyed the entire time and then you're kind of worried that your eyes will stay that way? <laughs>